I don't watch fictional TV or movies, and I've probably only seen 10 films in the last decade. But one movie I like and think about a lot is the movie Magnolia. I relate to many of the characters in the film, at least in some way. Jason Robarts, the famous actor, is on his deathbed in the movie. He's one character that I don't really relate to, at least not yet. He's on his deathbed in the movie and in real life. Tom Cruise plays his son, and he's estranged from each other. They haven't seen each other in years. Cruise comes to visit his father during his last moments, and Cruise's character doesn't forgive his father, just like I wouldn't forgive mine. There's another female character played by Rosanna Arquette, and she doesn't forgive her father either. That's something I can relate to. It's hard for me to forgive. Another character I really like in the movie is a small character played Marcy. I always use one of Marcy's only lines in the film. A police detective played by John C. Riley says, Marcy, please sit down. And Marcy replies with, I prefer to stand. I've actually gotten to use this line a couple times in real life and nobody knew I was quoting the movie. Another line I've used from the movie is when the police officer played by John C. Riley is telling Patricia Arquette's character to turn down her music at her apartment. And he says, I get it. I like to rock out every now and then, and he says it in a really wholesome tone, and she's all drugged out. I said that line, norm, normal conversation in real life, in the same wholesome tone, and nobody knew that I was quoting the movie. I also really like the narrator at the beginning of the movie before the opening credits. If you're a fan of my monologues, you can see how much this film rubbed off on me. The narrator at the beginning of the film describes strange instances of chance or unbelievable coincidences that make you believe in God or something. One instance of chance not mentioned in the film that I've learned about recently is a woman who once jumped out of the Empire State Building in New York City only to be blown back in by a gust of wind a couple floors down. Magnolia is the realest fictional movie I've ever seen. Magnolia shows how random life can be, how one day you could be walking down the street and frogs fall out of the sky, but it also shows how selfish and cruel humans can be. It's unbelievable how selfish the world is. I can only see the world through my own eyes, so I can't understand other people's selfishness. I think about my father in his last days, probably losing thousands every day playing solitaire or online poker. But he couldn't give us decent clothes or even 25 cents for lunch when we were growing up. He bought me the worst glasses and everybody in the school made fun of us and called us poor boys. I recently heard that he buys a new car every few months. He's trying to spend as much of his money as he can before he dies. If that's not one of the saddest things I ever heard, then I don't know what is. It's nothing sadder than somebody who's guaranteed that there's no heaven or hell, and he guarantees he knows about the afterlife, and he guarantees that it doesn't matter what you do on this earth. I don't buy that. Not for one second. That's the mind of a fucking egomaniac. I guess that's why he was so cheap growing up, so he could be so greedy in the end. He wanted to be extra greedy in the end. I feed a hundred street cats every day and I see nothing of me and him.